everyone in this class we are going to learn how to configure the dscp server in the router okay so let me take the router i will take 4331 this is the router i am taking and then i will take one switch and then we will take some computer here okay i will take some computer we can say i will take okay six computer i will take here and let me connect i will connect this router to this and then i will connect this computer and now we are going to learn how we can configure the dscp in this router so this computer can get the ip from this router so this is a router i will give this router as a r1 here and this switch is here so let me take the cli of this router so i will take the cli of this router and i will do the configuration so if you see this is our topology if you want i can move like this okay and then i will take the router cli here i can make size is small if you want to reduce the size here we can reduce like this okay and here we can do the configuration so this is the router we have so basic configuration first we will change the name of the router so i will write here host name r1 then after that i need to assign the ip so i will write interface g0 by 0 by 0 after that i will write ip address I am planning to use this IP 192.168.1.1. Then subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0, and we will write no shut. So here, if you see, this is okay. We assign the IP address to the router. Now we need to configure the DSCP. So we are going to learn how we can configure the DSCP in the Cisco router. Let's see. I will do the configuration. So how we can do? We need to write IP DSCP. dscp pool and pool name you can give anything i am giving abc after that you need to write network and give the network id i am i am using this one okay now i am doing for single vlan later if you want we can do for multiple vlan also and default gateway we need to give so this will be the default gateway whatever ip we assign to the router interface so that we need to write here i will write 192.168.1.1 so this is a default gateway and if you want to give the dns you can give dns also i will give 8.8.8 so here if you see what we done here we we told the dscp server give the ip from this range from 192.168 1.0 with this subnet mask and this will be the gateway and this will be the dns and here i can reserve some ip i can write ip dscp exclude and here i can reserve like example 1.1 we are using already here as a gateway so i can reserve some more also i will reserve 192.168 1.5 so from 1 to 5 i told dscp don't give the ip starting from 192.168 1.1 till 1.5 so other than that one he will give that so this is a dscp configuration if you want to check you can check also i i will filter here okay so see here this is a dscp configuration i done ip dscp pool abc and this is a network i define here and this is a gateway and this is a dns okay so this way we configure the configuration here so let me copy and paste here this one i will paste here and also i exclude some ip i told dscp server don't give the ip from this range so i can put this also here so if you are planning to do this lab you can copy this configuration you can see this configuration so dscp configuration is done now just go to the computer and check here go here okay and go to desktop go to ip config you have started click here dscp and wait for some time see you are getting the ip from dscp 192.168.1.6 you are getting and subnet mask whatever we configure you are getting that one and here this is a gateway what we told and dns you are getting we configure 8.8.8 dot dot so i done for pc1 let's do for pc2 all pc if you select the dscp you will get the ip so it is working perfectly okay so it is enough if we are getting the ip to one or two computer it will work for all so i am testing only three pc here let me test this four also okay so let me test this one is also getting the ip 1.9 and remaining two we have so let me test this also okay so let's see here it is working and let me check here also it is working here see 
it is working so our dscp server is working this is a configuration you need to remember this is the configuration we done and we are using only single vlan for this one if you want to do for multiple vlan we will do in our next class thank you bye